morning and welcome to a new edition of A Daily Debate. This evening we'll be debating two critical issues. We'll be starting off with the Economic Summit, which is scheduled to, held, to be held in Sharm el-Sheikh, Egypt, between the 13th and the 15th of March. Good investment opportunities in that summit will be hitting Egypt. Uh, with a distinguished gentleman right after the break, we'll be discussing uh, that summit. What's the agenda and what is needed, or what are our expectations at, as Egypt from that summit? The latter part of our show will be addressing terrorism, which is mine this part of the world, with a military and strategic expert. Uh, before we discuss that, we'll head to the following report addressing our uh, upcoming summit, and we'll be right back after this. A landmark conference in March 2015 will showcase Egypt's economic progress and business reforms as well as launch a four-year economic development and investment program. Egypt is to host the Economic Development Conference in Sharm el-Sheikh from March 13 to 15, 2015, where it will witness the launch of a four-year development and investment program that will put the economy on a path towards inclusive and sustainable growth. The conference is to be a major milestone in the implementation of this ambitious growth program which seeks to attract billions of dollars in foreign investment over that period. Attracting leading business and political figures, the Egypt Economic Development Conference will highlight the extensive reforms the government has already implemented, such as subsidy reforms and others that will be put in place to restore fiscal stability, drive growth, attract investment and ultimately improve the social welfare of the Egyptian people. Announcing the conference, Prime Minister Ibrahim Mahlab described the event as a catalyst for Egypt's economic development and an opportunity for international political and business leaders, as well as investors and institutions, to participate in major development initiatives across a wide range of sectors. Recognizing the need for inclusive growth to support long-term economic resilience, the Egypt Economic Development Conference will also feature the participation of Egyptian youth, SMEs and entrepreneurs who will have the opportunity to share ideas and interact with conference delegates. Egypt is firmly on the path to economic recovery. Implementing and communicating a clear roadmap of business climate reforms is essential to fostering investor confidence in Egypt and paving the way to genuinely inclusive economic and social reform. That statement was according to the Prime Minister. However, he added, that this conference and the reforms we are putting in place are not just about attracting investment, they are about building a successful economy and a more prosperous future for our people. Increasing access to healthcare and housing and improving education services will drive human development and ensure better lives for the Egyptian people. The Minister of International Cooperation, Nagma El Ahwani, is leading the organization of the conference in partnership with members of the Ministerial Economic Committee. Commenting on the announcement of the event, she said, The Egypt Economic Development Conference is the starting point for a new vision for Egypt's economy and a gateway for presenting opportunities to local, regional and international investors. We are working in close cooperation with our development partners, notably Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates, to make this vision a reality and look forward to introducing the world to an Egypt with a reinvigorating economic vision in March. In the past six months, we have been making courageous decisions to set our nation on the path to economic recovery and growth, a statement made by the Minister of Investment, Ashraf Salman. The economic recovery program will create jobs, address key infrastructure gaps, and promote Egyptian exports. We are listening to investors and are working hard on new policies that will ensure a level playing field for investors where transparency and the rule of law prevail, he added. 